Yeah. Okay. Thank you a lot, Manuel. So hello to everyone. I'm David Morante. And the last time I was speaking here was when I defended my thesis <laughs> three years ago. So I'm right now I'm working as a mission analysis engineer in Deimos. And going back in time, uh, I wasn't sure at first about doing the, the PSD, but uh, both Manuel Sanjur and Manuel Soler convinced me because they told me that it was going to be very company oriented. And uh, as you can see, it was right because I, I took the opportunity because I was sure I wanted to work uh, for a company after doing the PSD. So everything went fine. Well, during the PSD, it was like a roller coasting, a coaster, I would say. Sometimes up, then down, up, down. But okay, the average, uh, it's fine. I mean, it's enough. <laughs> <laughs> but it's important to realize that there are moments where you are down, but then go up. And also, well, I had the, the great opportunity also to, to do two internships, one at the European Space Agency at ESOC, and another one at the University of Illinois and at NASA, Goddard Space Center, which also offered me the, the possibility that I, had, I do not have right now at the moment because I have family here and, and I cannot move. So it was, <laughs> it was um, really appreciated and useful for my career to, to be able to do that during the PhD. And also, how I started in, in Deimos uh, was like uh, being at the right position at the right time. They needed an expert on low thrust trajectory optimization. And uh, my PhD was about low thrust trajectory optimization. And they needed for the second generation of the Galileo satellites for the phase B. So uh, just after finishing the PhD, I joined the company for that project. And after that, I, I have been working for, for many others. And every project is so different that you keep learning like uh, new things every day, having new challenges also, new dates. And for me, it's also kind of um, continue, continuing with the, with the PhD in which I was specialized, but uh, from a company perspective but always uh, researching, kind of research. Okay, so now I will uh, briefly present to you what is, what is Deimos, what we do, and which are the, the opportunities that you can, uh, the, well, that we can offer to you once you have finished the PhD. So Deimos is a technological company of the Elecnor Group which is, um, well, one of the leading companies in Spain for um, engineering, infrastructure, and construction projects. And in particular, we in Deimos have the mission of providing engineering solutions for different, for many sectors. We are mostly known by our participation in the space sector, but we also have uh, solutions, engineering solution for aeronautics, providing radio navigation systems, also for maritime, like uh, use when using our um, ship tracking system. Also, we participate in, in projects with the transport industry, transportation industry. We are responsible for the Elcano system for Renfe, which is the, the Royal Grey Railway traffic management system. And also we provide solutions for the, for the industry, like with surveillance system for critical infrastructure and also for uh, telecommunication and media. The company was founded in 2001, so we have more than 20 years of experience. We have participated in more than several, several thousand projects. We have presence in five countries and uh, we are a, a team of more than 500 highly qualified staff. Focusing now on our participation in the space area, we are present in uh, all the phases of a space mission, going from the early design phases, phase zero, phase A, going through the detail phase B, and also 
in the development phase C, D, also launcher and user phase. Our field of expertise comprises space science and exploration, satellite navigation, earth observation, but also and also space situational awareness and launchers. I will give you an overview of some of the of our main projects in the next slide. But also I would like to highlight that we have also demonstrated that we can carry out a mission, a complete mission end to end as uh, due to the successful launches of our own satellites, Deimos 1 and Deimos 2. We also have, uh, well, our typical clients, are, here you have a summary, are uh, space agencies like the European Space Agency, NASA, or the UCSA, the UK Space Agency. We also have contracts with uh, big companies like Airbus, Air. Thales, also with research centers like INTA. And also we have a, a, a very strong network with uh, new space companies like AstraZastra, Clear Space or Orbex. Here you can see some of the some projects because we have many. And this is just an illustration. We are responsible for the mission analysis of the European space mission called FLEX which is a satellite that is going to measure uh, the fluorescence of the vegetation, which is uh, good to identify uh, the health of, of the plants and can be used them for food security, food management, and, and so on. So we have done the typical mission analysis uh, task for this project. Then we have an, our own flight dynamics software called flight for eo which is a software um, that is on board the, the Deimos 2 satellite and it's able to perform orbit determination analysis, uh, orbit prediction and maneuver computation calculations, and also it warns operators uh, if a collision risk is going to happen, and also it suggests the, whether to take uh, collision risk maneuver or not. Here, uh, you also have an illustration of the, um, of the Clear Space One project, uh, which is going to, to be the first mission to the orbit a uh, space debris object. And it's going to be led by uh, Clear Space, which is uh, a Swiss startup company. And we are responsible for the mission analysis of this mission and also for the development of the GNC subsystem. Then here you have uh, Satforio, that is our own platform that we offer. Uh, it is intended to fill in the gap between the low cost and low performance small satellites and the high cost and high performance satellites since it is um, a medium scale, medium sized satellite that is able to provide a very high resolution uh, up to down to 50 centimeters for Earth observation. Here, uh, we have um, an illustration of, of Jupiter because we participated in, uh, in JUICE, which you may know that was launched uh, last week. In, and in particular, uh, we performed the planetary protection analysis, which were intended to ensure that JUICE uh, will not collide with any of the, of the moon with any of the moons of, of Jupiter in particular uh, with Europa. And okay, so let's see if our analysis uh, were right in the future. Um, I mean, in, because the analysis, if I remember correctly, had to be run like for 300 years to ensure uh, that the probability of collision was below the threshold. So let's see, but we are also very happy uh, because it was successfully launched. Here, uh, another type of projects that, that we do are, uh, you have an example, this is um, Efesto, and Deimos is in charge of uh, developing, testing, and validating for future in orbit uh, an inflatable heat shield. That is, uh, instead of the traditional rigid heat shields for re-entry, for protecting the spacecraft of the heat, uh, now, um, Deimos is developing an inflatable one and flexible heat seal that will uh, allow to, uh, will help 
to land on both on Earth, uh, Earth and Mars. Here you can see an illustration of, of another project um, performed by the Atmospheric Flight Team. Um, Demos was in charge of performing the analysis for the Space Rider, Space Rider program of the European Space Agency. And the Space Rider is a space tra transportation system uh, that is intended to be like a um, laboratory in space. Like you put your uh, experiment in the, in the Space Rider, then it goes to space and then it has to land back on Earth. So Demos was in charge of analyzing uh, the both critical phases that are basically the, the ascending phase and the descending phase. Um, here you have um, an illustration of um, Orbex, the Orbex launcher, which is called Prime. Okay, so this launcher is a type of micro launcher that is, um, well, um, manufactured by the Orbex company intended to launch small satellites into orbit and to be reusable re and also to be green, like, I mean, it uses green propellant. And we in Deimos are in charge of developing the GNC system. And finally, um, I say finally because, well, this is the last mission we, we won from ESA and we are going to be in charge of the full mission end to end from the early design phase to the um, well, to carry out the, carrying the mission of the Draco, which is going to be the first uh, mission to uh, measure, let's say, everything during uh, the breakup, breakup process of an object in, in the atmosphere. Um, now you can see here that um, if you want to work in Deimos, you do not need to work you can, in our offices uh, in Tres Cantos. You can also, we have all, also other subsidiaries in, in Portugal, Italy, UK, and, and Romania. And also in Spain, not only in Madrid, but, in, but also in Puerto Llano, in Ciudad Real. Here you have, um, well, uh, an illustration of our team and when I say of our team I mean in the flight, flight segment department which is uh, one of the departments within Deimos that are more that we are dedicated to flight dynamics so we are a people of 150 high skilled professional um, these are people comprised by very young people. As you can see, uh, half of the people approximately is below 30. This is not my case, I, I, I mean the other percentage. And the average experience of the team is about 8.3. So um, I would like to say that as Manuel Soler uh, introduced, Windamos are very interested into in hiring people with uh, a PhD. It does not need to be exactly uh, your PhD related to the, to the position because um, we know that during the PhD, you also gain, um, acquire other skills that are very useful and, and valuable by Deimos, like the, the autonomy, the creativity, and the problem solving abilities that we are supposed to acquire during the PSD. Um, another remark would be like uh, doing the PSD is not useless. I mean, uh, you, go, you do not go to the company like uh, a master degree student. You go as, um, well, you enter and the PSD is considered as a between three and four years experience. Five, uh, even your PSD was, you did the PSD in five years. Mm -hmm. Uh, you are not going to be considered as five years, but between three and four uh, will be will be okay. And then to show you some of the statistics of how many people has a PhD in Deimos, to show you that we are a really high technically qualified team. Forty percent of the of my team, which is uh, one of the sub teams in the flex segment. 40% uh, of the team holds a PSD, and this value can also be extrapolated to the to to the whole demos, to the remaining part of demos. So basically, 
there are two possibilities to, to enter the demos. One, enter the team. Here in Madrid or in any of our subsidiaries, um, there can be a position open for that or not. So if there is the position open, you can directly apply to, the, to it. Or if not, you can directly contact uh, my supervisors like Simone or, or Pablo Hermosin, telling them uh, what is your experience and that you want to work in Deimos and, and a position may be open for that. Uh, and uh, another possibility that is also very interesting is that uh, the European Space Agency, as you may know, open positions for, uh, for subcontracting people. people. And um, we have um, four uh, Deimos employees working at ISOC and at ESTEC. And in that case, uh, it is an asset to have a, a PSD. So everybody there has a PSD. And it is one of the ways to go and work for the European Space Agency as a subcom. And if you go in the name of Deimos, so better for us. So in that case, you need to wait for a position from the European Space Agency to be open and then contact Deimos if you are interested and we will send your, uh, your candidate. So we will send you as a candidate for that position that needs to be approved by ISA. So if you have any question, we can talk uh, later. Thank you a lot.